today, we will analyze expected returns of a stock, from its historical prices. We will calculate, mean historical return, exponential moving average historical return, and capital asset pricing model expected return. We will also analyze the stock, using a line chart, and basic statistical tools, such as variance, standard deviation, and correlation. We have a CSV file, containing prices of a stock, and market position on the same date. Import Pandas Library, to read CSV file. Import CSV file, using read CSV command. Enter the path of CSV file, you want to import, into read CSV command. Now store each column from CSV, into a separate variable in Python. Variable S will store the prices of stock, and the variable M will store the market positions. Import the matplot library, for visualization and comparison of stock position, to the market position. We will use two separate y-axis, to plot, and compare the stock and market positions. Plot stock positions, on axis 1, in red color. Plot market positions, on axis 2, in blue color. There is a lot of information, we can assess just by looking at this chart. We can guess if the return is positive, or negative. We can approximate, the average return as well. We clearly see the correlation, between stock and market is negative. However, let's calculate these values through Python. Import the statistics library to calculate the variance and standard deviation of stock prices and their correlation with the market positions. Variance will tell us how far the prices of the stock move, from its mean price. It is a measure of volatility.
We can also calculate the standard deviation of the stock prices. It also shows us how volatile the stock is. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. Finally, we will calculate the correlation of stock in the market, which, as observed through the chart, should be negative. As observed through the chart, the correlation of stock in the market should be negative. Import the Pi Portfolio Library to analyze the expected returns from the historical prices of the stock. Convert the stock prices and market positions to data frame format. Calculate mean historical return from stock prices by selecting appropriate frequency. As apparent from the chart, mean historical return is negative. We can also calculate the mean historical return of the market itself. As observed in the chart, Market is trending upwards, therefore, market return should be positive. Similarly, we can compute the exponential moving average historical return from historical prices of the stock using Pi Portfolio Library. EMA historical return gives more weighting or importance to recent price data. Finally we will compute the expected return based on capital asset pricing model. For this model, we need to use both stock prices and the market positions.
We have now analyzed a stock, and its expected return, from historical prices, using the Pi Portfolio Library. Please ask any question, or leave a feedback, in the comment section below.